Good evening, everyone. Time for another member update. This is the 30-year bond chart on um, more free charts, uh, the PDF site. I'll link it below. And you can see here, I just want you to take note of this chart. Again, this is a monthly chart, so these lines are months. And you can see the beginning of the year 2016 is right here, this last dotted line that we have. So you can see that there has been absolutely no change in the policy of the central planners. They're continuing to suppress interest rates even though they've talked about um, changing rates on the short term. You can see that if you pull up the uh, euro dollar chart, which is a proxy for the uh, T-bill chart, which they no longer have, but you can see here there was a little down tick and then things are going back. Uh, you don't have a new high in the 10 year note, but you can see that you have a continuation of the trend. Basically, the central planners are continuing on the same policy that they've had, which is to prop financial markets, suppress interest rates, rig all markets, and try to um, make this model a success, which is the model of central planning, government control, which ultimately is an abysmal failure, but uh, they're not going to give up. They intend to fight to the death on this thing. And uh, I'm gonna transition into uh, some social aspects of this whole thing here, because I wanna cover this story about target and what's going on with their stock and the AFA boycott. So I'm not really going to talk about silver. It's kind of sideways. We're around still in the 17s. The thing hasn't resolved itself, although there's been kind of a correction, but we're still waiting for it to give us uh, an ultimate signal as to what the direction is going to be. So let's look at this target story. Now, this is a fascinating story because what's going on is that we have uh, the left, which now the left in this country is, in my mind at least, is pretty much being exposed as just a cadre of very, very evil people. They, they really, their only interest is the destruction of Western civilization. That's pretty much what the left stands for now. There are no moderates on the left. These people are fanatics, they're lunatics, and I'm going to try to prove to you here that these people are evil. These are some of the most evil people on the face of the earth. They're, they're just literally monsters who are interested in the destruction of Western civilization and families and children and men and women. Uh, they're, they're basically servants of Satan. They are interested in destruction. So now this, this target boycott is very fascinating because uh, the left has gone to considerable lengths to uh, explain this away. Basically, we've got the issue in North Carolina where they're trying to force this transgender bathroom issue. And it's just, uh, these people are so sick. They want to... It's, it's hard for normal people to believe, but basically the left now is on a program of trying to blur the distinctions between male and female. Remember that, you know, the created order that we have here is, is God created men and women. And the left, they are agents of Satan. They believe that... Everything that has been created, all the order that God created, should be destroyed or blurred. And so this, this transgender issue, this is an issue they are shoving down people's throats. Uh, it is literally Sodom and Gomorrah all over again. But if you, if you look at this, you can see, uh, I'm going to show you in the Snopes article, that the boycott that started after Target stepped out and became the company that was basically allowing anybody to say, if you simply claim that you're a certain sex, it's no longer a matter of 
biological facts. It's no longer a matter of uh, physical appearance. It's just a matter of what uh, sex you say you are. If you say you're a certain sex, then you get to use the bathroom of that sex. And of course, uh, people, Christians specifically, but people also who are interested in protecting women and children from having men coming into the women's bathroom are up in arms, and the American Family Association initiated a boycott against Target for this. Now, you can see today we had a huge move down in the Target stock, uh, $5, but uh, it uh, is also a gap down move, which is a, a very bearish technical pattern. It also closed on the lows, which is another extremely bearish technical pattern. But let's go over and look at the Snopes article and examine that. Now, I've covered Snopes before. Snopes is an organization that basically is interested in uh, spinning reality. They're a far-left organization. And this is the type of the th uh, thing that the left does. This is a Marxist, communist tactic. Um, th what they do is they create supposedly neutral sites. They control things like education. This is just like their control of education. So they will infiltrate and control the universities and then paint them as neutral when in fact they're simply organs for their left-wing programs. We've seen that for many, many years, for decades in fact in the universities. But they also create these websites that are supposedly neutral, Wikipedia, and, and Snopes. And you can see here that this is from May 3rd. It's kind of interesting that this hasn't been updated. And I'm going to show you a search for this topic on Snopes. But this is the most recent one here. Stock, drop, and troll. Several websites connected to an exaggerated dip in target stock price to a recent boycott over the store's transgender bathroom policy. Claim. Target stock price plummeted due to a boycott over the, na uh, the store's transgender restroom policy. Mixture. What's true? A dip in Target stock price occurred around the same time as the boycott against the store's transgender bathroom policy. What's false? A dip in Target stock price was not unusual, nor was it directly related to the boycott. So you can see the spin here that, uh, no, there aren't enough people. Now, here's the dates given. Uh, this is the when things occurred. Target reaffirmed its commitment to inclusivity on the 19th of April 2016 and the American Family Association announced a boycott of Target stores the following day. So the American Family Association boycott of Target started on the 20th of April. Keep that date in mind. So back to the chart here. You can see We'll zoom in and take a look here. And this is the daily. So you can see it goes right down to the very day. And you can see the 19th right there. Uh, this is when Target announced that there was an initial sell-off. It was 84. The boycott was announced the next day. And we had a down move. Then we had kind of a rally for the next couple of days. And a big, big down move. And another big down move. Then a sideways motion. And we have today uh, on the 11th uh, this huge drop. And so you can see on the long term chart, it's not uh, a gigantic move. When we got to the weekly, you can see that it, it doesn't amount to a gigantic move, certainly. And it doesn't break, apparently, doesn't break any technical lines if we go in and add a freehand line, we can draw it from the bottom of the 2009 bottom when uh, pretty much the powers that be started propping up stock markets. And you can see that we need to get down to below 70, probably really to 65, to say that there's a technical breakdown in this stock. But it's definitely topping and it definitely coincides with the announcement. Now let's get over to the search that I had of of Snopes and what you can do is you can go to Snopes and do a search on Target. Now this is very interesting because what I did was I sorted this by date. So you can see this is sorted by date descending and you can see the May 3rd story which is now May 12th and the story has been confirmed to be wrong that clearly the boycott is having a major impact on Target's 
stock price. But of course, they haven't updated it. But let's take a look here and see how many stories Snopes has done on Target. You can see Target stock plummets over a million people boycott stars. Uh, stores. Fake Target customer service account responds to people anger about transgender bathroom policy. That's April 27th. Another one, April 27th, Oxford, Alabama, transgender bathroom ordinance. Uh, another one, transgender woman arrested for taking pictures of underage girls at Target. The 25th, two days before that, Target puts urinals in women's bathrooms. Uh, then the 20th, Target's transgender bathroom policy. The 16th of March, Target talking to strangers, uh, talking to strangers Facebook warning policy. And then it kind of goes back into a generic thing here. So you can see um, when you just do a general search here, starting in the early spring, it kind of just has general uh, stories about Target. And you can go back and search these. But very, very clearly, there is an agenda on the left. And Snopes.com is a left-wing um, organization posing as neutral, uh, that's how the left works. Remember, these people, the main thing you have to remember about the left is that the left, uh, it, first of all, the left is anti-Christian. And that's the way you understand seemingly inexplicable positions that the left takes. For example, in regards to feminism and Islam, that Islam is one of the most anti-woman religions that's ever existed on the face of the earth, and yet we find the left supporting and protecting Islam. How is that possible? How can they reconcile that? We have to remember that the fundamental element of all left-wing politics is anti-Christianity. Anything that is against Christianity is what the left supports. These are people, they're, they're defining, the defining factor for all of the left is a hatred of Christianity. So, for example, if you try to make sense of the American Civil Liberties Union, this is a story that goes way back. You can look up the book's uh, uh, exposés on American Civil Liberties Union. But if you try to find a consistent thread for the positions taken by the American Civil Liberties Union, you can't find them if you're looking for constitutional rights and defense of the Constitution. The only really consistent thread you can find if you trace all the positions that the ACLU supports is a hatred of Christians and a hatred of Christian values. If you look at the positions they take, and even when you're talking about free speech, they do token things. But in reality, uh, they're not even for free speech for Christians. They are an anti-Christian organization. And of course, the left is anti-Christian. And we're going to see here, I'm going to play you a little bit of this video of uh, a person who came out against feminism. And uh, the left is anti-Christian, anti-free speech, anti-woman, and really... The truth of the matter is, is the left is actually about cultural Marxism. What the left stands for is a destruction of the white Anglo-Saxon Protestant West, Western civilizations. That's what the left really stands for, is a destruction of Western civilization. So let's listen to this video here, and I'm going to go back to the beginning once we played a little bit of this this was something that started to go viral, and, and we'll get the backstory here after we listen to her for a little bit. Let me first say that feminism is not about women's rights or equal opportunity anymore. That may have be, been how it started out. Um, yes, women weren't allowed to vote once upon a time. Feminism is now merely a tool of the liberal, read, socialist agenda. In order to fully understand how the socialists have hijacked the feminist movement, you need to understand that socialism and communism is not dead. There's not a lot of talk about communism anymore. The red scare of the 50s seems to be over. That's because it's been repackaged. It's being sold as something else. Exact same goals, exact same ideologies, exact same philosophies, different name. There isn't anything new under the sun. It's just relabeled, resold as something else. Um, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Political correctness is cultural Marxism. 
that's not insane to say. That's not wacko. That's not a little extreme. It's, it's a fact. Cultural Marxism has been repackaged and sold to the culture as political correctness because no one will accept, at least most of the country will not accept Marxism under that label. But they will if you call it political correctness. Call it something else, people swallow it whole. So the eventual goal of the liberals, the socialists, is socialism slash Marxism slash communism. Um, I know there are purists out there screaming at me right now, there are differences between those philosophies. They're not exactly the same. I know. I'm not an idiot. Um, but they are all the same world view. They are. Same world view. Slight technical differences not anything um, significant. But anyway, fem feminism is one of the tools. Don't believe me? You should read The Naked Communist um, by Cleon Skousen. And in that book, they outline an agenda for transforming any society into a socialist society. One of their, uh, one of their goals is to destroy the family because the, the family is the framework, the foundation, a good family, the, the nuclear family, of a society. And one of their goals for destroying the family is to get behind the feminist movement, because the communists felt that it had been very successful in creating discontent. Okay, so Betty Friedan, who wrote The Feminine Mystique back in the late 50s, I believe, uh, and yes, I've read it, she wrote it supposedly from the standpoint of a frustrated housewife. That's what she sold herself as. She espoused the ideologies which attack full-time homemakers, and she cultivates this victimology among women. And later, she admitted that her propagandist views were linked to her belief in communism. She was a very strong communist, and she supported Stalin very strongly as well. Not surprising, radical feminism was the goal, one of the goals, of the socialists for bringing about their, their world view. If you are a feminist and you think that the feminism you cling to is actually about you, actually about women's rights, or even about women at all, guess what? You have been played. You've been lied to. Um, you're one of the useful idiots of whom Stalin spoke, um, who swallows the lie because it flatters you, or it appeals to your sense of entitlement. I mean, think about it. If feminism was really about women, it would be about whatever women want, right? It would be about the freedom to pursue whatever you wanted, including nothing. It would include the freedom to stay home and raise your kids, if that's what you really wanted to do if that was your heart's desire. But feminists are not for women. Again, Sarah Palin should have been championed by the National Organization for Women Right because she was running for president and she was a woman. Isn't that what feminists want? Women in leadership roles? No. Liberal women. Which tells us that it's not about the woman, it's about the liberal. Uh, for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. It's a matter of science and of common sense. Um, specific actions have specific consequences, but women have gullibly believed, actually believed, that the lie that they can take action, certain actions with no reaction, the lie that they do not have choices to make, they can have it all. You can't have it all. Women actually think that they can have everything they want, when they want it, and Men are supposed to know what and when that is. Feminists want to be totally independent except when they're feeling dependent. And if men don't then step up and allow themselves to be depended on at said time, then they're insensitive jerks. Women want to act unlovable but be loved. Uh, to let it all hang out, but how dare men notice. Actually, they'd better notice, but not too much, because that makes them creeps. See what I'm saying? Women want to be fully self-reliant, headstrong, in need of nothing, especially not men, of course. Yet they also want to be fought for and pursued 
and protected and cherished. And ultimately, what women want, what feminists want, radical feminists, is to be able to act like men and be treated like women. There's a scene in the Dukes of Hazard. So if you think movie. that this is just some, uh, people can speculate about social uh, trends and things like that, well, let's look at the backstory here. This is actually a salvaged video that someone did of a channel that was deleted. This is actually what happened to this woman that did this video. So, for those of you who aren't familiar with gang stalking, gang stalking is actually a real phenomenon where people who criticize the powers that be are actually attacked in their, in their life. They're tracked down, they're hunted, and they're harassed. I, I think this woman's channel was ultimately deleted. I don't know what happened to her, but uh, this is... This is just some evidence to show you that the left is a very, very real danger. These are very, very evil people. And you have to remember that the left is ultimately a reaction against the Christian West. And they openly admit that they don't believe that there's a right or wrong. Now, if you're dealing with people who don't believe there's such a thing as right and wrong, then obviously you're dealing with people who have no morals. Uh, they believe that the end justifies the means. They will commit evil and heinous acts to promote their agenda. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this target boycott comes out. The left is on a full... Uh, they're on a full assault against this boycott and we'll wait and see how it turns out. We'll talk to you next time.